Well, hello there. I'm sat in my car and uh, I just wanted to show you a few of the features of this new car that I find <clears throat> really quite exciting. So let's just show, turn you around. Now, this is the steering wheel. Right in the centre of the steering wheel, you've got four dots. Now, that's quite uh, ingenious because four dots is the SOS for letter H. H is in, as in uh, Hyundai. Anyway, let's have a look at the console. So, let's start the engine. Is that is that too dark? Are you going to be able to see that? Oh, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, uh, one of the good things is if I indicate this way, I get a picture on the console. And I turn, indicate that way, I get another picture. Now, that's one of the features that I quite like. And if I press this button on here which says P and a camera that gives me my parking camera now if I go into reverse that's my reverse and back to a head go forward and uh, if I press this button here it swivels round and shows me where my car is it uh, although it's a uh, it's not a, a, an accurate representation of my car but yes, yeah, it uh, makes out my car's tiny, doesn't it? Uh, but let's go back to that view. Oh, sorry, you go that back to that view and turn that off. Um, well, I hope that's uh, I'm able to get this to come out actually. Just stop the engine. Plays a little tune. Um, anyway, so one of the other features of this particular car that I like over electric cars is that I've got fully mechanical door handles. Uh, I don't know any of you seen the stories online, but eight people have died recently, four in one continent and, and four in another continent, where they were unable to get out of their Teslas because the door handles are electric. So in the event that this car loses its... Intelligence parking mode on. Thank you. In the event that this car loses its... Uh, electrical power you can still get out although it does have a full um like you say a, a petrol engine under the bonnet it's a 1.6 liter turbocharged uh, engine um so that's that's a prime mover that's the that was the sole reason that i got this car was to save money uh that's better it's more but <clears throat> there we go i've got a nice nice big sunroof as you can see uh, well, that's nice. Why? Right. Yeah, I'm still finding out the features of this car. Unfortunately, I parked under a tree last night, and there's lots of uh, sticky little dots from the green fly or whatever they are up in the trees. They're busy sucking sap, and uh, what they do is they spit out the excess sugar, and it lands on your car, and makes everything sticky. So, yeah, our car's all covered in insect poo. So I've got to get that clean. Uh, yeah, it's, um, it's, a, it's a very nice car. I do like this car. And uh, it's, a, it's got a six-speed six gearbox, uh, automatic. And uh, it gets you away from the traffic lights using the electric motor. And once you get going, the uh, petrol engine kicks in. Obviously, if you put your foot down, they both are going to take over and propel you from the line like a rocket. So, I don't do that. Anyway, <clears throat> so the idea is that I save money uh, on petrol by using the electric motor. The electric motor is charged up. If I turn you round again. Right. If I point the camera down at the steering wheel, I've got these two paddles. This one here and this one over here. This flappy paddle gearbox, as it were. Now, when it's in eco economy mode which is what I drive in all the time, you can actually use these to change the the uh, the amount of regenerative force that you have in your engine. There's four levels. There's off, and then there's levels one, two, and three, and one being the least, and number three being the most in the way of regenerative power. And uh, when you take your foot off the, the accelerator when you're on level three, you do notice that you're slowing down. Uh, one and two... 
uh, levels um, seem to be the best for me because I do like to coast a long way. Uh, when, a, when a car in front uh, puts its brakes light on, I tend to lift my foot off the accelerator and slow down instantly rather than pulling up close and then suddenly braking. So that's that's how I use the regenerative braking anyway on this particular model. Um, yeah, it's got lots of lots of features uh, that I'll go into at another date. Um, but as you've seen on this little video, it's great having having on in the display there, there and there having the uh, um, what's actually coming up behind you on a wide view camera is quite innovative. I think uh, yes. I know I've got the mirrors there and over there uh, so it is um, uh, just a handy feature top you taking your eyes off the uh, off the road and one of the other things I do do have which I do like which I must tell you about now is if you can see it, you might not be able to see it Starting oh, video recording. you might not be able to see it let's see if I can zoom in uh, let's see if I can zoom in Right, I'm zooming in, I'm zooming in, and what have we got, yeah, oh yeah, that, you can see just there, that dot there is actually telling me that that's, it's a 30 mile an hour speed limit here, and that little mark there is telling me my current speed on the road, you can see it, yeah, I'm trying to get a bit closer, but, uh, yeah, so that's, I've got a heads up display, which is absolutely fantastic. So let's turn the engine off, telling me that the sunroof's open. So let's shut the sunroof. Uh, zoom out. And turn around. Uh, so there you go, I've got a, um, a, the, uh, the features there gives me a head up heads up display which helps with this with the sat nav as well i'll get in, instructions on where the next turning is um so that's quite exciting and intelligence parking mode on well, intelligent parking mode on um yeah and one of the good things as well is that it's keyless entry as long as the car key is in your pocket you can open the car doors without unlocking it with the key fob and the other advantage is that when you step out and step near the boot, the boot lid will open. Uh, if it gives you three seconds, if you stand still for three seconds by the boot, it opens, uh, which is rather rather quite good. If you've got an armful of shopping and you, you can't fumble around with for your keys, um, it, it's opened really nicely. Uh, so that's that's a handy thing to have. Um, and of course, you can start the car without inserting a key, like most cars these days. They've got an intelligent key fob. So when the when the key fob is in the car, you can start the engine. Um, so I just leave my key in my pocket now. I don't need I don't need to put my key anywhere. Just keep it in my pocket. I can get into the car um, and, and drive away without getting the key out of my pocket. Absolutely fantastic. So uh, I'm going to edit this little video and put it back together, and I see how how it goes. But I do love this car. I do absolutely adore this new car. It's um. Well, like I said, it was uh, retirement money, so it's money that I wasn't expecting to get. Um, I know I've been paying into a pension for a long time. Um, you know, it's, this is a good 40-something years, 42 years maybe, paying into that pension fund. And uh, I really didn't expect, I, I thought I'd get maybe 10 grand um, to spend. But no, I've got a, I've got a huge, a huge... Um, <laughs> pay out enough to buy this car um which is was uh more way more than i expected um so that's uh one, one of the good things anyway so carry on and uh we'll see what happens on the next one see you then